Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My store and closet name is El Ducho, E-L-D-U-C-H-O, and you can find me on Instagram as El Ducho Thrift. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you'd like to be, hit the button down below. And if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up on your way out today. All right, so I am back with part two of my bins haul. If you saw my last one, awesome. If you didn't, go back and check that one out. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the rest of the stuff that I got because I got some fun stuff. I guess let's get into it. So this is all from the Goodwill Outlet. You do pay by the pound, also known <clears throat> as the bins. So I didn't get a lot of shoes. I started with a lot of shoes, but I actually couldn't find some of the matches, which is really frustrating <laughs> when you shop at the bins. But when you can find that match, it's very satisfying. So I got these. I actually didn't look up the comps on them. <laughs> <clears throat> but I went on gut instinct. So I don't know if it was gut instinct. <laughs> that might be ambitious to say. Anyways, these are a pair of Melissa jelly shoes. If you're familiar with Melissa, the brand. Um, but this is a collaboration with Vivian Westwood. It's kind of hard to see there. Um, they have definitely had some fun. Like these have had some life, but there's life left in them. Um, if you don't mind wearing pre-owned shoes, which clearly people don't. It's fun because there's like, literally there's glitter in here. This is like what Cinderella would wear if she wore a flat, I feel like. So I wish these, hold on. I was going to say, I wish these were my size, but oh, they're so close. So I think they're a 40 and I'm probably a four, 41. So yeah, if you're a 40, hit me up. There's those. Um, next is a pair of Jack Rogers. So I hear people talk about these, but I've never found a pair. So I was excited to find a pair because I think this is like one of the styles that people like. Um, but anyways, this is the brand. That's what it looks like. And they make shoes, sandals specifically. Not sure. Anyways, these are <coughs> an eight medium, eight M, whatever, you know, it, it depends on like the width of your feet. It's like, there's like B and M and N and anyways. Yeah, but they're not that bad of condition. I'm pleased. So first time finding those, really excited. And then the third pair of shoes that I got were a pair of Burberry sandals. So these definitely have some wear to them, but I sell flawed designer items all the time and get really good money for them. So that was not going to stop me from picking these up. But anyways, I think these are my size though. Hold on. Wait for it. Oh yeah. These are a 10. <laughs> So there is wear here, but like the toe is going to be there. So you're not going to see that. And I don't know. They're not bad. I'm going to sell them. So there's those. Next item. So the next ish couple of items are items I'm going to work on a little bit. So these are a pair of Lululemon cropped leggings. And I think I might try and depil them a little bit because they're not bad. I think these ones are reversible. Ooh, they're way worse on the inside. So I don't know. I know you can take a shaver, like a uh, razor, razor to them. So maybe I'll do that. They're size eight. It's funny because the inside pocket feels nice. I'm like, why doesn't the outside feel like that? So here's these. Set those there. Um, <clears throat> next is this Columbia jacket. I don't always pick up Columbia. Um, sometimes I do. They do make some really nice jackets. But I thought this one was interesting because it has um, what it's called. They call Omni Heat. I'm thinking this is the Omni Heat part. It says patented there. So I thought maybe it was a little bit more special that it kind of, it's a lightweight shell, but it probably keeps you a little bit warmer. So yeah, so I grabbed this. This is a size small. The only problem, <clears throat> oh my God, I'm trying. Um, the only problem that I noticed was... Uh, Okay, here at the pocket, some of the lining has torn. It's not torn all the way through to the inside of the jacket, but I'm going to have to note that. So I didn't see that when I was at the bins. Otherwise, I maybe wouldn't have picked up the item. So I'll still look up comps, and if it's not worth me listing in that condition, then I won't waste my time on it. Okay, these, speaking of wasting time, <laughs> this... I love selling this brand. It's called Bryn Walker. If you're not familiar with it, it is a Lag and Look brand. If you're not familiar with Lag and Look, look it up. It's L A G E N L O O K. Lag and Look. So, this is a Lag and Look brand, and these are a size large linen pants. The only problem is they've had a field day in the crotch. So, what I think I can do 
is maybe sew it back together. I don't know why I think I can do this. I think I just want to save a pair of Bryn Walker pants. And clearly, I'm telling myself I have nothing better to do with my time. And then I need to depill the crotch also. I don't know. I don't know that it's going to be worth my time. But I think I'm still going to do it just to prove a point to myself. So yeah. <laughs> I don't recommend you do that. Okay, this is a Bowdoin dress. I'm pretty sure this is cashmere. I'll check the tag in a second. It's a size 8. I think it's a dress. Tunic, dress, not sure. I don't know, it's a short dress, but whatever, no judges. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so I do need to sweater shave it. It's just got a lot of pilling on it. What's nice about Bowdoin pieces is that here it has the style number. So you can look it up if you're trying to find the name of the garment, but what is it? Yeah, it's 8% cashmere, 5% angora rabbit hair. So I don't know. I just thought it was cute. But now I have a project. Okay, this is a cool did I grab yeah I grabbed the rest of it uh, a cool uh sweater hoodie thing warmth extra large what is it this one's a men's because the women's will have like a little heart somewhere but this is not a heart shaped if it was the women's it's a little sexist right to put a heart on there it's cute but it's sexist um but this needs to be sweater shaved so I'm just gonna need to sit down and have a sweater shaving party Hmm. But this is super soft. What is the material on this? Do, do, do. Alpaca fleece. Huh. Okay. Well, no. It's called alfpaca sleeve. <laughs> it's not even... There's no alpaca in it. It's acrylic and polyester. Whatever. Feels nice. Okay. I'm going to save this to do with the other item because they go together. This is my one accessory. I bought the little brown bag. So this is what sh uh, Bloomingdale shopping bags look like. Um... This is just like, I think it's PVC is what this is called, but I'm not sure. It's like a little purse or handbag probably that you would purchase as a souvenir there if they still sell them. But I looked up comps and they sold really quickly for uh, $25, $20. So mine does have a little flaw there. I don't even know, begin to know how to get that out. So I'm just going to sell it as is. Okay, speaking of cool, I got another cool item. It's a pair of men's pants. These are a 32-30. Um, they're heavily distressed, so here in the knee. But this is definitely like a work wear or outdoor wear. Ooh, I just, I was going to say, hmm, don't know if I'm going to sell them now. Or I'm going to have to note this. The zipper has come off the track. We've jumped ship. I could put it to auction. Maybe I'll just put it to auction and see if I can get my money back. But anyways... I was going to say, this alone wouldn't stop me from buying it because, you know, the people who are wearing it, they're just, they're wearing it as like purposeful clothing, not just like for style. So yeah, here are a cool pair of pants that are functioning. Um, so these are a 3430. Was that what? No, those are 3230. 3430. And yeah, these ones are in good condition. Cool pants sell really quickly for me, and generally I get mm, 30 to 40 for them, maybe more, if I'm not remembering it correctly. Okay, <clears throat> this is adorable. <laughs> so this is Crew Cuts, which is J. Crew's kids' line. I don't always pick it up, though they do make good stuff, and so I often pick it up. And, okay, in case you're seeing this, because I just noticed that it's showing in the videos now, I got like a rug burn on my hand. <laughs> Mm, I was gonna say don't ask but I basically fell <laughs> so anyways this is size six seven but look at this it's like an ice cream or something look at this because it's like the little cherry on top how cute is this so there is like the only flaw worth noting right here on the sleeve there's a very faint little stain right there bum, bum, bum. so I'll just note that in the listing okay next is a pair of Kate Spade kids pants I swear I found the weirdest Kate Spade like kids and youngins pieces but this is a 12 year old pair of leggings um they're a little bit faded but not majorly maybe the light's not doing it justice here look at the pockets they're bows I don't know what kid gets to wear a Kate Spade leggings I wore leggings back in the day and they were not Kate Spade <laughs> but anyways um whatever we'll see what I get for them this is a excuse me, vintage Mickey Mouse, a uh, little crew neck sweatshirt. Yeah, sweatshirt. Dun, 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 dun. Don't know what year it is, doesn't say. And the tag is, says 
Dia Club. So it's not like Disney branded merchandise. Actually, it says size 100. So I could probably look that up. I think a 100 would be like a four-year-old or maybe a five-year-old. So anyways, it's just so cute. When I see Disney, I have to grab it. So if it's cool, Disney. And some of it sells fairly well. If you saw my last video, take me a sip. <laughs> okay, my next item. So funny story about these. Um, I didn't find these Lululemon shorts, but as I was paying, somebody ran up to me, a very nice gentleman, and said, hey, do you want these Lululemon shorts? And I was like, you don't want them? And he's like, no. And he's like, you can have them. I was like, you don't want it? I said, you don't want them probably like four times because I just was like a little stupefied. And he's like, no, take them. And so, yeah, I graciously <coughs> said thank you and, and took them. That was very kind of him. I don't think he probably watches me on YouTube, but in case you do, thank you, sir. But that's what I love about the bins. There's really good people at the bins. Um, all the shoppers are really nice. I love meeting new people when I'm there. I um, can't remember what size these are. I did find the size. Oh, here they are. They're size eight. And they have the built-in underwear. And yeah, just so nice. Okay, these... <coughs> I'm going to make it through this video. <laughs> a pair of Alexis. It's like vintage. Um, what do you call these? Like diaper cover things. Something. But look. It's got like a little gun holster. Holster. I got holster right. <laughs> but I've sold this brand before. And they're in good condition on the inside. Oh my gosh. Look at the snaps. It's like two little guns. How aggressive for a baby. Okay. Next gonna make it through this video <laughs> okay is a pair of cool pants for women um these are size two regular so here you go there's that sexist little symbol <laughs> it is cute though um to their credit I feel like these had like maybe no it was the other ones had a little bit of discoloration on them these ones are actually in really good condition they're like a mustard <clears throat> marigold yellow almost a marigold okay these are a pair of jams world pants however hey there jams world there's a the tag they're size large but the back half here, I think, was an elastic strap. There's not really an el any elasticity. And it's not like slack. It's pretty taut. So I don't know if it was supposed to be elastic because the front is a drawstring. So you can tighten it. But I don't know. I asked my mom about it. And she, she thought maybe this was supposed to be an elastic band too. But anyways, I'll just note that <clears throat> in the listing, these are rayon. What's nice is they do give the style name sometimes in the pieces. But they're just a pair of capri um, I don't know. What do you call them? Pants? Shants? They're not shorts. They're not pants. Champs World doesn't sell as well as it used to, but I'm not, not going to pick it up. It's at the bins. It's rayon. It weighs nothing. Okay, so I got two of these. So this is like the petticoat that goes underneath. The brand is called Malco Modes. I looked up comps on it. It's pretty decent. <clears throat> people can wear these for any sort of activities. I think one of the reasons that people get these skirts is for, is it line dancing? Country Western dancing? Not country. Is, it, is line dancing the right, right word? I want to say rodeo dancing, but that's not. That's definitely not right. So anyways, I have sold petticoats before. Um, this one's a medium. I did find another, which is the skirt that would go over it. This one's a large, though. So I don't know what to think about that. I thought about pairing them together, but I was like, well, one's a medium, one's a large. But maybe you wear, like, maybe you're a medium petticoat, but then, because you have to put something over it, you wear the large. I don't know. Whatever. So I'll sell them as two different pieces. But Malco Modes, this one, it's kind of a cool, I don't know what this is, Southwestern style print? Yeah. So there's that. Um, I'm trying to see if that's it. That's kind of it. Do you guys want to see what I got at Ross the other day? This will just be a little extra. Okay, I'll show you. Because <clears throat> you can't say yes, so... <laughs> All right, this is an Eileen Fisher dress. It is a size extra large. It was originally $178, and I got this for $20. Now, <laughs> that's more than I like paying, but I think I can get my money back on it for sure and definitely make some. It does have pockets. It's like this super soft jersey knit. Don't even tempt me to keep it. Okay, these, I got two of them. I'll just show you one of them, but they are Levi's faux leather um, jackets. It's like a, their denim jacket style, but it's like this faux leather. It's like heavy and it feels, I thought it was real leather at first, to be honest. It is new with tags as well as the Ross price tag. <clears throat> and this originally sold for $180. I'm going to have to cut that string. Um, but I 
got it for $14.99. <gasps> so I feel confident I can make my money back on those. So there's two of them. I have one in a small and one in a medium. And yes, if you want to buy one, I'm going to charge you more than $14.99. But that's how this game works. Um, and then the last piece that I got was this Kate Spade jumpsuit. It's so cute. It's a size 10. Uh, original retail price, $398. Yeah, but it's got this pussy bow on top with the velvet, and then it's got velvet paneling down the side. I think it is cropped. The style of it is called the Mixed Velvet Jumpsuit. It's a size 10. No pockets. I would say that's its only flaw, but I, I mean, it's all new with tags, and the items aren't flawed, so that's it, guys. That's my haul. You kind of got a little two-for-one there, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.